Rosemary's Baby's ending helps to solidify it as one of the greatest horror movies of all time and leaves things on a chilling final note. Based on the novel by Ira Levin, Rosemary's Baby stars Mia Farrow as aspiring mother Rosemary Woodhouse who moves into an old Renaissance revival-style apartment building in New York City called the Bramford with her gaslighting husband, Guy, John Cassavetes. After becoming pregnant, Rosemary grows suspicious of her neighbors and believes they have malicious intentions for her unborn baby, causing her to fight to regain control as everyone tells her it's all in her head. Up until the horror movie's iconic ending, Rosemary seems like she could just be imagining the spooky goings-on at the Bramford, her theories are so far-fetched that it would make sense to debunk them. It's more likely her imagination is running wild than the truth that her apartment complex is full of high-society Satanists. Then, her theories are confirmed in one of the most chilling endings in movie history. However, from the satanic chant to the demonic eyes to the unsettling look of love that Rosemary gives her baby, a lot of the movie's ending is open to interpretation. What happens in Rosemary's baby's ending? Rosemary makes a shocking decision to be a mother to the devil spawn. Rosemary looking down in Rosemary's baby. At the end of Rosemary's baby, the title character's paranoid suspicions are finally confirmed as she finds her neighbor's coven worshipping her newborn baby under an upside-down cross, enthusiastically chanting, Hail Satan. When Rosemary is giving birth, she's restrained and sedated by coven members. Later, she regains consciousness, and she's told that her baby was stillborn. However, she finds that her breast milk has been saved, so once again, she becomes suspicious that she's been lied to. Convinced her baby is still alive, Rosemary finds a hidden passageway into her neighbor's apartment, the same passageway the coven used to infiltrate the room when she tried to lock them out. Rosemary goes through this passageway and finds her son, Adrian, lying in a bassinet draped in black, surrounded by eager Satan worshippers, including Guy, gathered to celebrate his birth. When Rosemary takes a look inside the bassinet, she's horrified by what she sees. Guy tells Rosemary that if she raises the child, she'll be rewarded. She doesn't have to become an official member of the Satan worshippers' cult, she just has to be a loving mother to Adrian. She initially rejects the offer and spits in her husband's face. However, when she hears the infant's cries, her maternal instincts kick in, and she has a change of heart and decides to take in the child even knowing it is the Antichrist. What did the coven want with Rosemary's baby? Rosemary was unwittingly chose to birth the Antichrist. The Satanist coven is so desperate to get their hands on Rosemary's baby because he's their malevolent deity, the Antichrist. The coven initially targeted recovering addict Terry Gianofrio to carry the Antichrist, but after her death, at her own hands, they turned their sights to Rosemary. Her nightmare about being attacked by a demonic presence was a real experience in which she was impregnated with the son of Satan. The birth of the Antichrist has global ramifications for the souls of humankind. In the Bible, the Antichrist is prophesied to oppose Jesus Christ and take his place prior to the second coming. 